Hey guys, uh, J Melford Baseball here. Um, today was my first video. It's just going to be what I got in my bag. I'm a catcher, so it's a lot of stuff to go through, so I'm just going to try and get through it really quick. Uh, but before we start, just a real quick rundown of what this channel is going to be about. Uh, it's going to be tests, reviews. I'll be doing some trading, selling. So you guys have anything like, you know, maybe you think I'd like and you want something that I have, you know, maybe we can work out a deal. Or if you just want to go straight cash, we can do that too. Um, so yeah, well, got that out of the way. Let's get underway. Up first is uh, we got three things that I kind of think <coughs> well, the same category. First thing is a Evo Shield wrist guard. Um, you know, you guys all know how this works. I'm sure even if you don't have one, I'm sure guys on your team have them. Just guard your wrist. It's like that. Hard shell on the inside. So you just mold this little pack thing on the your wrist, and voila, you have your own custom wrist guard. Up next, I got my Oakley sunglasses. Hate on me for having Oakleys. I don't care. I bought these myself actually. Okay, I don't know what frames this is. Maybe you guys can tell me exactly what frame. And uh, they're just kind of like the plain gray, uh, plain gray, plain like shiny gray lenses. That's the word I was looking for, lenses. Um, but yeah, I mean, really good. Don't have any problems with like fog or, you know, really clear, crisp image. Actually, one day I was looking at the TV with them on. When I first got them, and I actually found out looking at the TV gave it a better image with the sunglasses on than it did without them on. So, which is weird. There's like there's no prescription in them either. Eyes are perfectly fine. Okay, up next got my batting gloves. These are Rawlings. They're pretty old, third year, but it's really no point in getting new ones. These fit me fine. Um, you know, I'm getting pretty close. Maybe next year I'll need a new pair. But I mean, fit me fine. They're just simple on the inside. None of that mumbo jumbo technology. Just got good grip on them. Uh, keep me from getting blisters and a uh, real trusty pair of bangles. Okay, up next we got my hats. Um, so. TMB right here, Team Massachusetts Baseball. Uh, it's my AAU team. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I just kind of blanked there. And then I had to go to the bathroom. Then it got really hot, so I had to take off my shirt. Uh, so now I'm just wearing this. Uh, so where was I? Oh, yeah. So, TMB, Team Massachusetts Baseball, AAU team I play on. Um, and this is my school hat, St. Sebastian's. That black and red. Pretty cool. Uh, this one, Velcro on the back, this one's fitted. So yeah, pretty nice hats, both of them. Okay, up next is my uh, old glove. Uh, this thing's pretty old. Um, 11 and a half inch. It's a gold glove. It's a gold glove model. Um, the number on it, all the Rawlings gloves have like numbers on them. RPS... 115T is the number on it on the inside. Uh, web is the like eye thing with the cross laces in the middle. I really like the web. Uh, ball fits in there real nice. Let's see, get a ball here. Okay, found a ball. Um, so as you can see, ball fits in there real nice. Uh, back side, front side, all the sides. You know. Falls out if I do that, but let's see if I can get it stay in there. Oh, take it. Okay, well, it is a little old. Uh, got it in 2010, 2011. Uh, so, yeah, a little old, but nothing a little conditioning can fix. Anyway. Okay, on to my next glove. So this is that glove's replacement, Pro Preferred. 
right now is just to fail. Let me grab that ball. Okay, this one's all black. Uh, same webbing, you know, with the eye, and then the cross laces right there. Uh, this one's really hard to see, but I actually got it engraved with my name right there on the thumb. Uh, it's Proberford leather. The number on it is a lot longer. PRO S12 MTKB. Uh, I'm not selling this one. I don't. Um, if you guys want this, I'll condition it up, make an offer, or sell it for cash. Uh, you know, the price, I'll agree to it or recline it. Decline it. Uh, yeah, this it's gold glove. Uh, this one's pro preferred. Real nice, good quality leather. Even with that, I can feel the ball nice. Uh, you know, poses real nicely. You know, I'll do reviews on this later. But so that's that glove for now. Up next is my first baseman's glove. I play first. I, I don't just have this. Uh, this is the Renegade. If you guys haven't noticed, I like Rawlings. Uh, Renegade. This one has a different web. It's like, I don't even know how to, which web. I'm not like, you know, I don't know what all the webs are called. But, you know, it's got maybe like a double eye web. Uh, this thing. Uh, it scoops so nicely. Because, I don't even know. I mean, I haven't flared it like insanely kind of flared, but I don't know. I just got to come up with more to say about it. Don't use it a ton, so don't have a ton to say about it. But I mean, I'm sure I can make a really good review on it, which is where you guys will get most of your information on this thing. On my last glove, it's my catcher's glove. Everybody has this glove, or a lot of people have this glove. It's actually the original model of this, the gold glove. Um... Yeah, but I mean, you can see the consistency where I'm catching the ball right there, the mark in the metal, which just tells you that means it's good leather, that it's marking like that. Uh, it's got a really good pocket, really deep. I mean, I've worked it in a lot. Uh, no leather chips anywhere. Um, all the leather's staying in. All the laces are in good shape. You know, the laces are really nice on it. Uh, the thumb, the thumb walls, like the things right here, I don't even know what they're called. Keep it in real nice. Even when you catch it in the palm, you know, in the palm, it's still, it's stuck in there. You know, like, it's not coming out. And then one thing I just wanted to mention, so if I it down here, about blocking, is, uh, let's see that. Okay, um, when it bounces and it blocks and then it comes up, it will roll up and it just gets pinched right there and pops right there in front of me. Pick it up, you know, ready to go. See, in the ball, like, it can't roll past there. So, I mean, that's a uh, really, uh, really great benefit to the glove. And I mean, I love it. I'll get more into, more into review about it later. Okay, up here is a. Uh, Catcher's mask, Easton, Rye will see. Uh, cross this on. Okay. Uh, so, any thoughts I have about this are, it's got a really good chin piece down here, you know. Really holds the thing in place, doesn't let it move. Uh, it's got a nice bar, gap right here. Keeps the balls from coming in, but it gives you good sight out. Another thing is, it's got a really nice thumb piece. That when a ball, you know, if a ball gets popped up or maybe one gets by me, um, I'll reach up with my right hand as I'm getting up. And it's got a really nice kind of latch right here that you can grab on in the cage and throw it off. And your thumb can get out of there very really easily. So let me give you an example. I'm down. I'll do it without a ball. You know, ball goes out. I can get that thing off immediately. No problems. Comes on really easily. Uh, really sturdy, good helmet. Got a nice solid bar. Uh, 
the end of the season I'll probably be selling it. Because um, I'm going to get, you know, a skull cap with a real mask, like an uh, original mask on it. It's in from the back. Um, I'll do a review on that as well. I'll do a review on all this. But yeah, um, at the end of the year, I'll make some sales videos for those that you guys can check out. Okay, um, next thing is my catcher's chest protector. Love this thing. Easton Natural. I'll show you why it's a natural in a minute. I'll show you right now. Come on. Oh, I got caught. I shoot a buckle thing. Okay, that like never happened before. I promise. Okay. As you can see, it's got a nice bulge out in the middle. And this part hugs your chest, but not too tight that, you know, if you hit it all, oh, it doesn't hurt. It's a little loose. But then what happens, so it curls back right here normal for a nice fit. It looks kind of small like this, but, you know, it actually does come down normal. It's just my shirt's a little big. Um, what happens is the ball comes. I can't really see it. You can kind of see it a little. See how it kind of flattens out there. It stiffens. When the ball comes with a lot of speed, it actually pushes these things out a bit, which channel the ball down right in front of me. So I block it. Damn. Hard to see. My ball. I block it. Channels out. Ball comes out right in front of me. I pick it up right away. Just get a camera bed for this. Jeez. Uh, yeah, but again, I'll do reviews video. That's just gonna leave the inside scoop on it for now. Okay, up next, leg pads. These are the Easton makers. As you can tell, I like Rawlings and Easton a lot. Rawlings for gloves, Easton for gear. Uh, so, again, just do a real quick rundown on these. Really good padding on the inside there. Really good, really nice. Got a nice knee hole. So when you drop down, your knee has a bit of a space to go down. And even on here, there's more padding. And right here, this helps grip onto your thigh, which, so that's kind of hard to see, but it covers up right there. Now you got your nice Eastern trademark right here. You know, you got your cool little, little fade thing. Uh, I know, hate on me for doing it, but I do use knee savers. I mean, they are true savers. Look at how fluffy those things are, though. You know, don't see they are. Then on the back, they're really soft. And these six are, they're truly our savers. I mean, I love them. I could use, I could go with them, but they're great. Probably should have done these earlier. Like cleats, uh, the New Balance ones, medals. Um, I'll do a review on these. It's not much I can say real quick about them. Besides, they're really comfy on the feet and I get a good dig in. Okay, so, as you can know, I'm a catcher. So, I actually got that when I started on the team this year, they gave me a bag, but, you know, they gave me a player size bag. So, I carry this on my back, and then I'll show you my catcher's bag in a sec. But, got a nice pocket here where I keep my bag and gloves, sunglasses, Evo shield, you with know, my number on it, 25. It's the Maluchi bat bag. I carry two bats around me, one wood, one BB core, wood, BB core. Bad pockets, you see you got a nice slot for it right here. And then holds it in place with this buckle right there. And then you have your main compartment. That's where I keep a uh, helmet, first baseman's glove, pitcher's glove, with slash, pitcher's slash, third slash short glove. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's good. It's comfy. It's got, oh, it's got a bag. We all come onto the fences. So it's a good bag. Okay, final thing before we get to the helmet and the bats is my catcher's bag. And this is a Rawlings catcher's bag. Uh, so first, let's start with the front pocket. This is where I keep my cleats. Uh, cleats, extra pair of socks in there. Then we have our main compartment. This is where everything's going to go to meet you. Uh, 
you know, got my main stuff, my catcher's gear, just got the undershirts, my old glasses in there. Uh -huh. Got a donut, heavy donut actually. Uh, skills trainer ball. And I have one of these skills fielder things, which will receive use your hands. Uh, so yeah, like that. It's pretty good. Big, lots of space can fit all my catcher stuff in there easily. And then this back pocket right here. And these two pockets which keep seeds gum, you know. Baseball thing. Okay, last thing before the bats is batting helmet. This is my yeah, it kinda looks crooked, I don't know why. It's just like as straight as I can get it, but it's not crooked. It's actually pretty straight. Okay. Um use some batting helmet. Um real sturdy. Nice and thick, but it's not heavy, you know, it's one with your head, it's on there. Uh, it's the East End, let's see. This, my team ordered this for me, I don't know what the brand is. Natural, it's a natural rip WH, and it's made in Thailand. So, like I said, East End, back there, number 25 in the back. Uh, again, team logo, TMB. Um, yeah, real sturdy helmet. I'll do a review on it where I will get the link. Okay, last two things, which are my bats. One, wooden, which is a Louisville Slugger. Yeah, I know, I got it for Christmas. It's ash. It actually, I can, I mean, you'd think, oh, it's wood and it's a Louisville Slugger. It's not going to be the greatest bat. It's actually, it hits pretty well. I mean, it doesn't have the greatest speed on it, because it's ash, so it absorbs a lot, it flexes a lot. But it has good distance on it. I mean, I've had it for three years now, three years. It's a 32, drop three, I don't know if you can see. Or 32, drop two, excuse me, so it's 30, 30 ounces. Um, my parents got a little big for me, it was a Christmas gift. Did I mention that? Yeah, I think it did already. It's a Christmas gift. Got a little big, so I could use it for a little while. Yeah, I mean, get around with it pretty good. It's pretty, it's not the greatest balance, but well, it's pretty well balanced. Not really, but yeah, it's okay. Tapered thing. Yeah, and I got lizard skin grip on it, which I got the other day for Easter. You know, one of the tiny Easter presents I get. And the last bat, yes, 32 drop 3, East and Mako. Bring on the hate. Bring on the rich kid hate. Yeah, I actually paid for it. It's like $500. I paid for 400 of it, so, you know, I earned it. It's a real great sweet spot. It was balanced a lot better than the other bat. Let's see if I can get it. There we go, right there. So, pretty much in the middle. Uh, it's got a taper grip there on the end, but I actually like it a little bit. A lot of kids don't like it. Um, it's weighted pretty well, like I said, so your barrel isn't dropping down, you know, you come straight to the zone. And yeah, I mean, it's BB core, so it doesn't have the most, so it doesn't come off the bat super hard. But I mean, I get real good distance with it. Uh, I haven't actually measured, but I mean, I get triples on a big, you know, real size diamond. And I'm not the fastest kid. I just hit my gaps and run. So yeah all for this video. Um, I'll be making, this is not for sale by the way, nor is my wooden bat. The only thing in this video that's for sale as of right now is this glove, which I'll make a sale video on uh, coming up soon. So, thanks and uh, see you next time. Oh, before I go, if you guys are interested in hockey at all, go over and check out my channel, J Moth at Hockey. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, just with hockey players. For hockey players, where uh, the only video I have is me doing the same exact thing with this for hockey. So, catch you guys later. Bye.